If advanced life support providers are in attendance and the defibrillator you are using has a manual function, use this mode to safely assess the cardiac arrest rhythm and administer the shock safely. Using this function reduces the time where no CPR takes place during rhythm analysis. If no ALS providers are in attendance, do not attempt manual defibrillation. Okay, Josh, if you can pause compressions for me. So that's VF, so it's a shockable rhythm. Carry on compressions. Charging to 150. Everybody but Josh, stand clear. Josh, stand clear. Shocking. Straight back on the chest, please. When cardiac arrest has been confirmed, attach the defibrillator pads in the sternum apex or biaxillary positions as normal, ensuring good skin contact, and turn the defibrillator dial away from the AD function. It is safe to turn the dial to the energy that will be used for the shock. This will be 150 joules for cardiac arrest treated by Isle of Wight NHS Trust staff. Pause chest compressions for up to 5 seconds to assess the cardiac arrest rhythm to determine whether the rhythm is a shockable ventricular fibrillation, a pulseless ventricular tachycardia, a non-shockable pulseless electrical activity or a systole rhythm. If the rhythm is non-shockable and there are no signs of life, resume CPR for 2 minutes. Ensure all rescuers except the person providing chest compressions stand away from the patient. Rhythm, carry on compressions. This includes anyone managing the airway. If the oxygen being administered to the patient is not being administered via an advanced airway adjunct, this must be removed to at least one metre distance. With CPR ongoing, charge the defibrillator to the desired energy, 150 joules. Charging to 150, everybody but Josh, stand clear. When the defibrillator is charged, clearly ask the person providing chest compressions to stop and stand back. Josh, stand clear. Perform a final 360 degree safety check of the bed, announce that you are shocking the patient, and if safe to do so, shock the patient. Shocking. Immediately resume Sorry, CPR please. and other resuscitation care for a further two minutes, remembering to time this interval. Manual defibrillation is a safe way for a skilled operator to administer a defibrillatory shock that minimises interruptions to CPR. However, if you are not an ALS provider and are not confident in delivering a safe manual shock or rhythm recognition, always use the AD function to treat cardiac arrest where available.